Hello everybody and welcome back to Still Wakes the Deep. We are uh, currently trying to get back to restart the generators so that the uh, power doesn't completely fail. We're, uh, we're dealing with Adair. And yeah, let's just keep on trucking along. Fuse box is over there. It's a big ass hand. Dear, can't get me. Kind of glitches through the through that a little bit. Yeah, I'm aware. We don't have to go through all that down there again. Crashed my way in here. He really wants to get in here and get me. here, but we, we get separated. You all right? Aye. The rig is me, though. My oh, son could sink. Are you kidding me? How long till it goes under? Soon, if we do nothing. Look, I need you to come down to the pontoons. If we engage the tension winches in all four legs, we can buy some time. What's the point? The pontoons, the electricity, they, they fucking think it's a fucking nightmare. What are you on about? You survived this long, haven't you? Can be said for most of the poor bastards on this rig. Christ, Cat, somebody up there must like you. That's what Roy keeps telling me. Aye, 
Well, he's a Barnsley fan, so he'll be used to praying. <laughs> Aye, you're no wrong there. I'm no wrong about this either. You're the jammiest bastard on this rig, and we need that right now. So let's do this. Aye. What do you need to do? You engage the winches in legs A and B, and I'll do the others. Easy. There's a direct route down from engineering. Aye, alright. I'll find my way down. Top man, Cat. I'll give you a shout over the tannoy if we're in business. Turn the, uh... Turn the audio up just a little bit more. Oh, good. Occasionally poor in I was listening to the previous part, and it was a little... It was a little, uh... Quieter. So we gotta get down into the legs again. To the pontoon access. some fires. Whoa. So yeah, this is where I was like, I found out that you actually had to hit the correct button. Otherwise it would just go in the direction you didn't want it to go into. Because it's not just an interface that you press. I didn't make it. All right, well, looks like we're jumping. The fuse box is up over there. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's always gotta it's always gotta happen, right, when you're trying to cross like a little small bridge or Or something like that. Okay. So yeah, it's just like the other one. It's just like the lifeboats. You do the same thing. Okay. Back to the winch controls. So now we have some swimming, and uh, as you can see, when we entered this, there's like the light glistens off of there because you can tell that there's oil in the water. So this guy down here. Fuck! Many more bodies out there. Right, to the pontoons. So the swimming in this game is probably my least favorite part, just because it's a much slower mechanic than <clears throat> everything else. Hello. And you can see you can see it in the water here. Tell that there's the oil. bodies. Very hard to see if you don't uh, don't have the flashlight on. Oh, there! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Most of hazard, strictly no smoking. In the event of the drill string rupture, this area will collect petroleum overflow and must be evacuated immediately. Shit. Ah, Christ, poor guy. This guy drowned in here. So this is all full of water. Down here at the end. 
Doesn't look like it. It's pontoon sump bilge. Digital life. Debris screen must be raised before maintenance can be performed. Lever must be fully engaged. Warning, debris screen entrapment hazard. No, no, I do not want to go in there. So yeah, this is the water rushing through, and this is the screen they're talking about right here. Right. Basically, because the water is rushing through here, if you don't have that screen up, you'll get trapped in here. Just taking this through. like we're going up. Oh shit. Shite, that was close. Yeah, that. Yeah, basically, you just have to use a uh, the like dash maneuver and like grabbing on the stuff. Otherwise, you swim like really slow. He's done the other one. Like we're swimming. <laughs> Barely see a goddamn thing. <laughs> oh. I don't know why they had to put that between two loading screens. Kind of strange to me. Oh boy. Uh, hello? It's O'Connor. Connor. Is that you? Go away! Let me go. Oh 
Notice how when you put the light on the flesh, it actually makes the light flicker. I am gonna get the fuck out of here. Well, we're gonna have to go up through this. You see, it's kind of like coming out through this pipe and then it spirals like, upwards. Alright, up we go. surfacing back in accommodation Check on Roy. First things first, let's go ahead and <clears throat> pick this up. Roy, fuck's sake. Oh, God, my son, the Lord. I've been worried sick. Sorry, pal. I've been all out of shop since I last seen you. What's going on, Cass? What happened with the chopper? That cunt tried to go away at us, but, well, didn't he work out well for him or the bird? Bloody hell, Cass. Is anyone alive? Aye. I saw Finlay. We had to get the Jennies on. And Brody as well, helping with the tension legs. Do you know what? I'm a fucking rig expert now. <laughs> Told you to take no time. Yeah, I'm glad you've not been alone out there. Uh, those two are alright. Yeah, they're alright. I saw O'Connor. He's one of these things, but... I thought... Ah, fuck, I don't know what I thought, but... Whatever it is, folk are being turned into. There's something of them still in there. What's going on? Roy? Uh, it's, it's all right. Um, uh, it's just me being clumsy. Once I get my shot, I'll be right. It's right. Do you need me to come and get you? No, no, I can do it. Uh, you saw this rig out? Find a way to get us home. See you, girls. All right? Hi. You're a good lad. Guys. That's why Suze loves you. And she does, you know. She really loves you. Oh, shit. Sure. Sorry, I have to go, Roy. Will you make it to the cabins, all right? Yeah, I'm on the way now. You 
you uh, be on yours. I'm praying for you, mate. Remember, Jesus loves you, Kaz. Everyone else thinks you're a god. Huh. All right, pal. Afters. Also have this here. The Trawlerman. From 12 Coastal Poems by Craig Henry Campbell, 1883 to 17, uh, 1975. From Aura the Fulmar, huddled closed, uh, huddled closed, together in flock against the winter brine. Black shine the stone of echoed sounds. Home to yellow lights of trawlers stayed and bound. By heavy midnight calm upon the shoals of cold north singing. Old Beera's grip upon the tiller, down below the faded boards, and hands sm smooth tokens speak of scrabbles lost and won. The morning watchers turned her gaze to see where turns spill the clouds, and her charges slumber on beneath their blankets spun of shingled home. We do not miss you, precious weans, though as we sleep waves bake the bow. Though storms gather beneath the brow of winter, and woolen gathers now the clouds, and still wakes the deep. And still on we plow. There you go. The title and all. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Sus, is that you? Oh. It was coming from the dive deck. <laughs> There's me. Oh, we're losing our mind. Jeez, what is this? Sus, Sus. She can't hear you because it's not real. Came from the dive deck. See, this is going up the. Christ, look at him. Is it called Becca? It's going up the, uh, the drill. Shake. That's oil dripping and everything. One sparking. Fuck. So you kind of lose your way to walk when you go under there. any others? You mean anyone alive? Well, I spoke to Roy. He's not doing great without his insulin. And I've no idea where Finlay is now. I spoke to her a few minutes ago. She's stuck until she gets past Rennick. Or what used to be <coughs> Rennick. It feels like everybody's deed or worse. I don't know about your side of the pontoons, but where I was, the oil tanks are burst, and I think there's a gas leak. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for a fucking bright side here. Well, Let's cross that bridge when we come to it, all right? Right now, 
We have to deal with the stack. That noise! Aye, okay. All right, the stack. What kind of thing the flare should they be looking like that? No. The main feed's ruptured. It's burning out. It could get worse. And if it does, it could spread to the derrick and cause an explosion. Right, so we're fucked. Again. Not if we switch the flare onto the auxiliary gas pipe. If you go over to the processing quad, I Wait, can... What? Have you seen it out there? Oh, aye, it's quite nice in here, you know. Maybe we should swap. You can't even work the controls, Cass. Otherwise, I, of course, I'd go myself. Christ. All right, all right. What am I doing? You need to get there and find the diverter valve. Main to the auxiliary. It's on the middle floor, flare side. I'll ignite the stack from here. Right. If I can't do it, then you'll need this. Jesus. I'll be on the tannoy if you need any help. All right, well, we have to fix the stack. Brody, dug the radio out, but no signal, no fucking nothing. You know what we have to do. This is our fucking problem, F. Should probably close this, Brody. Jesus. My cat's name is Brody. down there. Seems like he's going to be a problem. Oh shit. Stay quiet. Uh-oh. Are we stuck? Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, boy. If you only would have hit it one more time, you would have been able to knock the door off. Is that going to count? Yeah, there you go. You have to throw an object off the side of the... I should have did it earlier, but... I didn't. Be up to my old tricks, but it's working on you. <laughs> Is 
There he goes. So let's make our way through here. This looks like it. All right. Gas flare must be remain lit at all times to burn excess inflammable gas. In the event of the main gas line damage, this gas divert valve will switch flow to the auxiliary gas line. Auto ignition should occur after the use. Failure uh, in the event of igniter failure, the gas flare must be manually relit immediately. We gotta get out there and relight it ourselves, unfortunately. It's of course never easy, especially on a rig that safety precautions are probably not good at all. Me. Uh oh. Here comes the dare. ass on fire. Oh. Fuck you, Adair. For you since school. He's always hated me for being the bigger man and for having you and those beautiful fucking wings. Oh, no. Bigger man. You are shitting me, McCready. You're the bigger man. You think your daughter's got more brains and bigger bars than you have? What about the kids? The flat's in your name. You go to Berlin and they just take it away. Listen, Suze, come on. No, no. You just you shit it, McCready. You sit your arse down and you... You just listen to me! How could we not just talk about this? Because I am smarter than you, that's why. And I will not, I will not let you drag those girls down to me. Sort this. Whatever you have to do, I don't care. You sort this or I will leave you, you understand? Seriously, I'm really sorry. God, just enough, okay? Just, just get out of my sight. Try not to put anyone else in hospital the day, yeah? That might make a nice change for you. So that was right after the the assault. No, I didn't mean that. Why, why do you have to? Ah, Sus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus. Sus. Well done. 
It's getting in your mind. <laughs> this rig's really starting to fall apart. Brody, if you read this, I'll meet you in engineering. I did my bit. Your plan better work. Last chance. F. <clears throat> well, back to engineering. getting worse the uh, the quakes getting closer together uh, note from Brody Finley no way through engineering is full of oil we can do this I don't want to give up but we uh, we can get out we lost Kaz and we can sort this out don't do anything stupid Brody so he thinks that I'm dead Water. Fuck's sake. Finley. Jesus Christ. Cleary, how the fuck are you no dead? I thought I was. You fit to help? Christ, can anything help? Aye, but we cut ourselves loose and quick like. It'll buy us time, maybe enough. Do we even know if anyone's coming? We've been off radio for hours, so aye, I should hope so. Finley. Good. Let's... Look at us. I thought... Aye, aye, he's a walking, greeting miracle. Are we doing this or no? Aye. We float the rig. I'll dive down, release the tension cables. Hopefully we balance out, maybe end up higher in the water. I'll need you both in marine control. That's right. How do you, how do you get up there? On the roof. I have to get him. No. You have to get to marine control with Finley. Please. It's a two-man job, and we don't have much time. You think Roy does? Can I just leave him? I promised I'd get him home. Ah, let him go. Fine. If you want to go, go. But this place 
is filling up with gas and oil from the drill to the derrick. God knows where else it's leaking to. I can't recommend it. I know, Brody. But I'm going. I have to. Engineering's your only path up there, and it's flooded, so you'll have to swim. It's a long way. Plan each step. And if you're underwater, stay calm. Oh, aye, that's exactly how that'll go. Enough! You both know what you're doing, so let's go. There you are, Brody. Oh, you're never right, McLeary. I'm coming, Roy. Alright. find you. We gotta go save Roy. Well, we see that this has gotten worse. So if you remember, this is where all the like tanks were earlier that when we first came in here. myself along there as the water is kind of pushing through. across here earlier and then we went through this door but it's locked so we're gonna have to go up now All the cables. Back in the water again. This part right here is probably my least favorite part of the whole game. Because there's no way to grip this. And then you fall. And if you're not paying attention, you will uh, get lost down there. I The first time that I was down there, I like drowned. Um, because I couldn't 
I couldn't figure out where to where I was supposed to go. So I was like stuck down there trying to swim around to figure out where to go, but I couldn't figure it out. I didn't realize I had to swim straight up. All right, back to accommodation where things are about to get a little graphic. This phone is supposed to ring at some point. Another it's Kate's birthday. She's supposed to celebrate the day, no last night. But do you hear me? Suze? Hi, I hear you. What do you mean it's her birthday? That's no for months. Suze? It's kinda of one. Lose your mind, Kaz, that's what's going on. This has gotten even worse. Kaz, gone to roof, Roy. I got water leaking all in here. Oh no, the Christmas tree's been knocked over. Remember, this is where Trotz was when we came through here earlier. That's pretty freaky. These guys up here. Yeah, if you're wondering what happened to most of the crew. You're about to you're about to see
Oh, Jesus. Yep. As I said, it's about to get a little graphic. This guy's all fucked up. Some more. Oof. Rough for that guy. What the hell? How did they get like that? Christ. The trots do this. Oh, for sure. Now, this one to me was like the most horrible because could you imagine just going to the bathroom, something happens, and all of a sudden this like fleshy stuff comes out of the toilet and turns you into that? Like that shit sucks. Like, that's gotta be, that, that to me is probably truly the most horrible of them all. Because you know exactly where it's going when you're sitting there, so... Here's the guy that was in the shower. You remember from earlier. The guy that we had to look at his ass. Well, here you go. Now you can really look at him. He's came out of the shower head. And that's what happened to him. Um, go over here. <laughs> Uh oh. Fuck. This guy got ripped apart in his bed. Look, a, san a waterlogged sandwich. There we go. I've entered in every cabin. Here's Roy's spoon. That's another uh, trophy. If you'll give it to me. Got Roy's insulin. There we go. Me and my spoon. Yeah, this is Roy's room. So yeah, he pretty much ripped all those people up down there in their cabins. Trots tore the fuck up out of accommodation. So there's the uh Roy! There's the Derek. It's getting worse. Moving out of that place. God almighty. Yeah. Just getting even bigger. 
I must be out. Thank Christ. Roy! Roy. Roy. Talk to me, big man. Come on. Come on. Roy. Roy, wake up, you prick. Please wake up. Wake up. Come on. We were too late. I can't do this, man. I'm scared, Roy. I'm fucking terrified. What am I going to tell Susan? Hey. I mean, she's going to fucking kill me, man. Eh? She loved you, big man. She really loved you. So did my girls. I mean, what were they tell me? <laughs> oh, sorry. Your Uncle Roy's not coming home. Aye, I know. Me and Ollie. I love this big man, do you hear me? I love the... It's unfortunate we were too late. He tried to hold out as long as he could. No. Yeah, that's it. Who's this? Friendly, Kaz. You got to know he's good. Look, Kaz, the water's up to Admin, so I couldn't get to Marine Control. You need to try and get there from where you are, all right? Jesus. Aye. That English bastard better coming off. No coming. Oh, Jesus. God. Didn't make it. I was too late. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Kaz. No. Wrong off the big man, eh? I let him do. He was relying on me. No, no. No, you did everything you could. You would buy for him. None of this is your fault. No, anyone's. Look, I'm sorry, Kaz, but we need your help here. We're all fucking good doing otherwise. Aye. I want half this fucking wreck. Good. You need to find a way across the deck, get to marine control room, call me when you get there, and I'll talk you through it. All right? Right. All right. Get to marine control. I don't think there's any more. Alright, well, got good news and bad news. Bad news is that we gotta cross this thing. Fuck, fuck, fuck! The good news, if we get across, we're home free.
hear the voices coming out of there. Oh boy. <laughs> We made it. to marine control. Jesus fuck. Rope. Oh you and all. Nice and slow. It's alright. Just need to make a call. Yeah? Hey. Right. There we go. Finley. I'm at marine control. I'm uh I'm not alone. Fuck. Is it that bastard, Lenick? No, no, no. Jesus. Jesus. It's, it's Roper. He's all messed up. Gas, listen to me, all right? Listen. All right. We need to keep it together. All right, just tell me what to do. There's only two switches. You just have to find them. First, find the ballast operations panel. There'll be a switch there to put it into manual control. You flip that switch. Go do that, and then I'll talk you through the next part. All right? Aye, all right. I'll look for it. All right. Uh, Why is it locked? Fuck's sake. I need a key. It's locked. Oh, shit. Aye, there's a key. Yeah, good fucking news. It's all right, pal. She has there the key. Go. I'll look after this now, all right? Ready. <laughs> Keep. Keep Rennick away. So switch it to manual. Switch is at manual. Right. What's next? Now you flood the forward pontoon and I mean flood it to the fucking brim. Now hold on a minute. The pontoons are already fucked full of oil and gas. This might push it all up to the deck. We don't have a choice. The whole rig could tip over. Flooding that pontoon will at least give us a fighting chance. What about Brody? Is he not down there? He'll be out of there, Benoit. He's done his part. We just have to do it all. All right. All right. Let's go, Robert. Make sure you do. Away. What was that? It's Roper. Never mind him. Flood the forward pontoon. Aye, aye. Hang on. All right. Flood the forward pontoon. So we just from emergency use only. Alright, so here's the forward pontoon. Right, back to Finlay. Alright, that's done. Now what? Come on, what? It's moving. Did it work? Fucking aye! See? Not the hope was after all, eh? Oh, thank Christ. 
Christ, Finley. What now? Brody's got a plan. Meet us and drill Ox as soon as you can. Okay, I'll meet you there. We're going to be all right, Cat. Yeah, I fucking hope so. Sprout his sticky goo arms. All right, so we're going to go meet back up with Finley. Our mind for sure. Fuck! Am I losing my mind? That's what I said. Yeah. for that guy. whole place keeps flooding even more. Gotta keep swimming through the hallway. Oh. Just got like mouth on that one. There's all the phone calls. Oh boy. More water. Oh, 
shit. We're going down again. Well, if there's one thing we know, it's that they can't swim. <sighs> so he's just gonna drown down there. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, that was... Drowning of Davy Rennick. Oh, fuck. You rest in peace, you cunt. Christ. I'm gonna get a fuck over here. All right, to drill ops. So yeah, this is going to be just like a little two-parter game. Nothing too crazy. We're uh, pretty much at the end. Finley, thank fuck. Finley? What's going on? Who are you talking to? Kaz, you made it. Brody, what's wrong with Finley? She's freaked out here. Listen, Kaz. There's not much time. There's oil and gas getting in here. When it fills, it will be headed right up the drill pipe. What are you on about? I'm still in the pontoons. I've only got a couple of minutes. I can't stop it. The rig's a time bomb now. You understand? One spark and... You need to find a way off. Just get back up here and we'll work it out, yeah? I can't do that. What? I can't get back up. Wait, no way. I'm sorry. Wait, let's... You're on your own now. I'll come to you. All right? No, you won't. You wouldn't even get halfway to me. The legs flooded and the gas, it's... It's not possible. You got your dive gear? Aye, So you can use that? It's oil, Kaz. There's nothing to be done. I could see that. I knew the risk when I came down here. Fuck. Can I lose you as well? Listen, I'm all right, Kaz. I'm... I'm already back on Sky. <laughs> You've never seen water like that, Kaz. Clear. Peaceful. <laughs> just let go. Hello, Ruby. Welcome to the stream. We're just finishing up. Still wakes the deep here. It's beautiful. For about another like 15 oh, minutes. <laughs> oh, fuck that. I'm never swimming again after this. Kaz, you and Finley, you could do this, alright? I'm sure she wouldn't do something so stupid. Really? You there? Kaz? What's stupid? Talk to me. It's getting higher. What are you up here, Brody? <laughs> now we gotta listen to Brody die. Brody. Like we'd listen to everyone else die. Brody? Jesus. Well, that makes two of us left. She's going fine. She's going as bad as normal as it does. How does this happen? What do we do now, Finley? 
does he fucking matter? He's dead and you don't think that matters. He was always gonna die. Boy, them. Always. You see that? Who would be fucking about with a lakey and pontoons? And without a whole veil? Watch your pals turn into monsters? Never once. Never fucking once. Have we tried Do to I have, uh. Banishers. Got some new Eden starting tomorrow. And Stellar Blade coming up. It's gonna be the two games I'm streaming for the time being. Finally! Wait a minute! Jesus! Yeah! Give me a fucking win! Come back, you're not thinking straight! Where's that guy? Oh god, the audio. Oh god, what's wrong with the audio? I mean, like in general? Seven years. Oh boy, the whole goddamn place is falling apart. Hey, you could at least hold the elevator for me. Alright, race you to the bottom. You asked how long I've been streaming, seven years. It'll be eight years, like, Jesus, better this year. Hell. Yeah, I know. Guys, I'm here. Finally, I'm here. I know. It's, guys, feels like a long time. What? Who is it you hear? When? When it's close. Who do I hear? Thanks. I hear my wife. I just want to get back to her, Finley. I, up I lo upload everything to my YouTube, so I have about 1.6 thousand videos there. I have full playthroughs of a lot. We're not seeing them again, guys. There's got to be a ship coming. You, you said it yourself. Christ, guys. We don't want them coming. Oh, Jesus! I'm sorry, Fanny. I don't know what to do. I don't know what you mean. Go and face it, guys. What do you mean? Ah! We can he get back. We can he. But I can't. There's no going to stop with us. Fuck's sake, McCleary. For once their life. Be brave. Be brave for them. You can't save yourself. But you can save them. Jesus, Finley. You want to leave it a chance? Oh. If it gets to the mainland, oh, you know I'm right. I hope it's fucking right. Oh, Christ. Christ. <laughs> All right. And, uh, well, it's the end for Finley. Don't need none of that. I have art. Find every one of the crew members. I, I like how they count Finley as a dead crew member. Like, you just watch her die. Like, oh yeah, that's all. That's that's your last body.
Into the dark we go. The horror sings. Last one. Put an end to it. Been a long time though, Kaz. Hold up, Susan Lafferty. Fuck's sake, is that you? The very same. Christ, Kaz, but you look no different. I've still got the nose, eh? <laughs> well, looks like someone did a good job of spreading it about your face. <laughs> Because I really want to be thinking about Roy right now. <laughs> he looks after me. He fucking adores you, you know. Well, I am easy to love, Cameron McCreary. Yeah. I'm finding that. Shut up, great Suki Jim. I do, though, Suze. I fucking love you. I love you more than anything in this whole world. Did that fan pop? Are you not so bad yourself, all things considered? Marry me. What? I'm serious. Marry me. I make beautiful wings. I want to spend my whole life with you. She's perfect. She looks just like you. Thank God for that. <laughs> She's got your eyes, though. <laughs> your dad's eyes. I'm sorry, Cass. I know you'd have wanted him to meet her. Still wasn't interested in me. Why would he care about her? Well, her journey's way, Cass. I'll never leave you, Susan. I'll be at your side forever. I'm always going to be here for this wait. at home. By the way, this looks like the uh, the Chinese room uh, logo. I know it's other birds, but it's very similar. So there's me and and Sue's our wedding. The Sony T120 tape, which. I never had any of those Sony tapes. She is sleeping. It's the kids. More pictures of her and the kids. Drawings the kids have made. Jersey, a year-round gym. That's where I got my lighter from.
Kiss the wains for me. Tell them I'll be back for Christmas. I'm sorry, Suze. We were not, in fact, back for Christmas. Hey, Cass. I'm sorry it's been so hard. I just wanted to send you this. To say we'll get through it. I know we will. Just take care out there and bring my beautiful big gallus man back home in one piece, okay? I miss you and I love you. And the girls miss and love you. I'm still raging at Roy, but he's a good man and I know he'll look after. Whatever happens, we will be all right. We can weather this. Just wanted to say that to you, Cass. To keep you safe and close and make sure you know to come home to us. I love you, Cameron McCleary. Be safe out there on those waters. My man. My love. There you go. See, kind of looks like the little Chinese room logo a little bit. Fast forward to these credits. We can't just skip the credits. There we go. So there, there you have it. Oh, I got my walking one too. I need to get. That still wakes deep. A short little, you know, three and a half, four hour horror game. They never tell you what the thing is. They never tell you where it comes from. I, I like to theorize it's kind of like an SCP where basically there was something deep down in the ocean that they, they, they couldn't, obviously they couldn't see or they didn't know it was down there. And then they hit it. And once they drilled through, it erupted through the drill and just spread everywhere. But... As you can see, everything it touches, it basically consumes. Like, kind of like the flesh that hey, it's like, compare it to that. But they never tell you what the creature is. You never really know where it comes from. All you know is that it comes from under the water. And, uh, that's that. Thank you all for joining me. And, uh, stay tuned for Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. We're going to be starting that tomorrow. And then we're going to be starting Stellar Blade next week. So, it's going to be big. All right. Take care, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.